we have goats in this red pine plantation and they are browsing all of the buckthorn that you see all around me. This is Daisy. And this is Rusty. And these are two of our goats that we use for grazing. <laughs> Most invasives, especially buckthorn, tend to leaf out earlier in the spring than our natives and they keep their leaves later into the fall. So it outcompetes all of our natives. Buckthorn's been a problem on the Brule River State Forest for a long, long time. We're trying to evaluate how effective this project can be. So it's exciting to see uh, what's gonna happen. Prescribed grazing really thrives and works the best when you've got really dense invasive species. We brought the goats to the site in mid-May to start grazing. Then we rotate them through the buckthorn stand to make sure we hit every single plant and area, and then bring them back in the fall when it's all leafed out again and ready to be grazed. We're always being asked to reduce the amount of pesticides that we use. We want the forest to be able to regenerate our native species. And if invasive species get in the way, it makes it very difficult to do so. So goat grazing is one more tool in our toolbox. As you enjoy this beautiful state of ours, be sure to clean your equipment to prevent the spread of invasive plants. <laughs>